come to lesson 6, anong pag-usapan natin ngayon ay ang pivot table. Ang pivot table ay isa sa mga pinaka-powerful tools sa Excel. Basically, from a very large data set, pwede kang mag-extract ng data at gumawa ng customized table. So, pwede kang gumawa, mag-dictate kung ano yung row, ano yung column, at ano yung mga values na ipapakita mo. So, it's very useful in summarizing very large sets of data into a very simple, understandable table. So, ngayon pag-usapan natin ng steps kung paano gagawin ang isang pivot table. First, the first step is to prepare your data. Sa pivot table, dapat maayos yung data mo. So, the pivot table data should have, basically, it should be organized into different columns. And then, every row is one instance or one record of the column. At dapat malinis yan at straight straight. So, if, if medyo magulo yung data mo, hindi natin pwedeng gawin ng, ng pivot table, kailangan i-data cleaning mo, na, mo muna. Ilinis mo muna. So here, uh, maayos na yung data natin, organized into clear columns. Sunod. Second is, now that you prepare your data, step two is to create the pivot table. So to create the pivot table, you put your, your selection inside your table, anywhere, click insert, go to pivot table, ayan. It will automatically detect the range of your table. Makikita mo na naka-highlight siya. And then, choose where to place the pivot table. Kung new or existing worksheet. I recommend sa new worksheet para hindi siya maghalo sa raw data. Click OK. So, now, after you clean your data, secondly, you create the table. Lastly, the, the last part is you're going to drag and drop. So, in order to drag and drop from the table, you basically drag items from here kung and to the, down here to customize kung ano yung rows, columns, at values. Say, for instance, we would like to know, uh, we would like to group all the data, the 10,000 records, gusto mo yung per row is what per item type. So, kunin natin yung item type, i-drag natin sa row. So, yan. Basically, organize na siya into item type. Gusto mo yung kanyang values ay yung sales. Drag, click, and drag values at lalabas yung sales. Of course, pwede natin tong i-format para mas maayos. Pwede natin lalagyan ng formatting. Ayan. So, there. There's your... All your data summarized into magkano yung total na baby food. Yan yung total sales. Summary na yan sa iyong buong 10,000 records. Ngayon, titingnan natin. Gusto natin na meron tayong column. And yung column is per sales channel. Ang sales channel is online or offline. So, click and drag. Lalabas ng ganun. Ayan. So, now, yung row niya, again, is per product. Yung column niya ay ang sales channel. In this case, offline and online sales. So, ipinapakita na dito at siya na magko-compute based sa inyong record kung magkano yung baby food na offline, lagay dito, baby food na online, etc. At masasummarize na lahat ng iyong data. Ang last ay yung sa filters. You can put filters so that you can only so that you can only see certain kinds of data. You like, for example, to put a filter per country. Drag and drop country. So, Ang filter ay lalabas sa pinakataas. At dito, you can filter the entire table based on country. So by default, pinapakita all. So if you'd like to see the entire table only for, for example, for the country of Afghanistan. So tatanggalin natin yung select all. Tap natin yung Afghanistan. And yan, this is only for Afghanistan. So naka-filter na ang iyong data. Okay. Ayan. So, okay. Let's try again. Removing all the table from the data from the pivot table. Now, what if I'd like to sort every column? I, kunwari, every column would be a country. Tapos, ang ating row would be item type. So, kung ganun, madali lang yon. Drag natin yung country sa row. 
And ngayon, every row is a country. And then, item type. Drag natin sa column. And every column is an item type. And syempre, drag natin yung sales sa values. At yun yung lalabas. Ayan. So, ayan, naka-organize na siya into per country and per item type. So, ayan. Organize and can prepare this into a report. Next is, it's also possible to have layers in your rows. For example, dito sa rows, pwede natin two layers. Eh. Gusto natin na yung rows natin ay per country and at the same time per region. So, drag natin ng ganun. Ayan. Gusto natin na two layers yung row. The first layer is per region, tapos per region, ng next layer is per country. So, pwede ganun. So, drinag ko ang region and country. So, ngayon, uh, first layer is Asia. Tapos, second layer of rows is, yan, country. So, all Asia yung first layer, tapos, each country in Asia. Australia, each country in Australia. So, ayan. That's one way to do it. So, again, pwede ganun. Tatanggalin natin. Pwede, pwede din sa column na i-add natin ng layers. Kunwari, we want to know, ang layers natin dito sa, uh, sa, sa column, ay, uh, the other layer is the whether offline or online. So, you want to know the first layer, the type, and you would also like to know baby food, ilan doon online, ilan doon offline. So, basically, two layers sa column. So, drag natin yung sales channel. Ilalagay natin din sa column, dito sa baba ng item type. At, ayan. So, nakita natin na baby food, first layer, second layer, of, offline, online. So, baby food, offline ito, online ito. Tapos may total. Beverages, offline, online, total. So, there. Nakasummarize na sa yung report. Okay. Next. Uh, let's try to work with dates. Katalangilin natin. For example, we want our rows to be per day. So, uh, let's say our column, we would like it per day. Ayan, lagyan natin. Oops. It's gonna take some time kasi maraming pecha. At ang column natin ay ang sales channel, offline, online. At ang values natin ay syempre sales. So, ayan. Now, in terms of dates, Excel, said, there are lots of dates here, but uh, syempre hindi practical na per row isang araw. Uh, alam nga nang lalabas niyan, uh, first row, January 1, 2001. Second row, January 2, 2002. At 2001. So, kung ilang ilang years yon ang haba ng listahan. So, it's important that you're able to group the dates and determine uh, how big is your chunk of the dates you would like to determine. So, in this case, Excel detected the data and automatically declared okay per year. So, ginawa niyang per year. But to manipulate the row, if you want to group it to a certain uh, a time period, you can right-click the date, go to group, and you can actually group it depending on however you want. So, hours, days, months, quarters, etc., however you like it to be. So, in this case, I'd like to show rather than per year, per month. So, months, okay. So, ang lalabas, ang offline and online sales per month. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, etc., etc. So, ayan. If I'd like it, for example, for, for per quarter, so, ayan. So, per quarter. So, there. It's really, you have to know how to manipulate the dates to show the right cluster of dates.